Hello and welcome to Capacity TV. I'm delighted to be joined again today by Vanessa. Vanessa is from Wenham Carter International. Since working in wholesale telecoms, how have you seen the, the market evolve? I've been in this market for around eight years now. And one of the major changes is due to consolidation through M&A. I have seen a number of companies come and go within that time smaller startups that haven't managed to compete against the larger global organisations and then other small companies that we work with who have gone from strength to strength. Um, I think a lot of it depends on the people that they hire, obviously where their financial backing is coming from, uh, the regions that they're targeting and the ones that have really succeeded have been people who have been a long time in the industry, they know the ins and outs. It's not just about knowing the people in the product set, um, it's about being able to think one step ahead and finding an innovation in your product, finding a niche that no one's operating in. I think the difference with wholesale is that it's a very incestuous market. Um, everybody knows everybody else and that can be very much a positive, it can work in your favour. For us, we've been consistently busy throughout the ups, throughout the downs, you know, throughout the crash in 2007 in terms of the economy. There's always been hiring, there's always a need. Vanessa, you mentioned innovation. How do you think that's uh, driving the needs of the, the recruitment industry at the moment? Innovation is continually something that we need to be ahead of the game. We need to know where our clients are going. Um, we need to know where the demands are going to come from next. The hardest part of recruiting into that area, if we look at M2M as an example, it's a big buzz at the moment. You've got the big carriers like Deutsche Telekom, Orange slash France Telecom, and then the mobile operators like Vodafone already in the space, really driving it over the last couple of years. And gradually you'll see more and more carriers moving into that space, jumping on the bandwagon, and there'll be a much higher demand for experts in the M2M field. However, because it's a new area, there's not that many people who have got experience in it. In terms of driving recruitment and how that affects it, it's then speaking with our clients and looking at what training programs they're going to put in place. There's not going to be enough people with experience for every single carrier to be able to hire a specialist or have a team of specialists in that product. So what we try and do is work with our clients to find fresh thinkers who have researched the market, who track technology, who have interests and passions in that area and can pick it up very quickly and work with our clients in finding those people that are easy to train who already have a knowledge there even if they haven't worked in the market. So it's very much about working consultatively. Um, so that's probably the biggest effect in terms of how innovation changes our recruitment process. M to M, mobile money payments is obviously big. Um, and all the support of social media, you know, Google, Facebook, Amazon, they're rapidly buying up capacity. So there's a huge demand from us, from the new media space, which isn't a traditional telco, but has the demand. So it, it changes with product, it changes with geography. Um, M2M's big in Europe and the US, obviously that's going to spread across the Middle East and Asia, which are already doing it. Um, so it's tracking it geographically and it's tracking it product-wise and hopefully working with our clients to be slightly ahead of the game. It must be quite a challenge having to deal on a, an international playing field because like you said, m 10 is big in Europe, and mobile money is very big in Africa. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you split your time being able to serve those different regional markets? We tend to specialise within the market itself and to support us we have resources and linguists. So we understand the clients, we understand their needs, um, and then we have people who can back us up in terms of regional assistance. We do final interviews, we put forward to the clients, we do all that interaction, but the linguists can help us. So by specialising in a specific area, we can know that client very well. We can get to understand in more depth than perhaps a generalist recruiter could. Okay. And finally, obviously recruitment is an extremely competitive marketplace. So what uh, value adds do you think Wenham Carter has to offer the, the wholesale or the, the telecoms marketplace? Where we can specialise is how niche we are within that. As far as I'm aware, there's no other telecoms companies that have pure wholesale specialists like we do. We get underneath the skin of our market, we know all the key players in our market, we network from a mid to senior level and above. So by working only in wholesale, it gives us the time and the commitment to research the market, to understand the technologies. Where we can add value to that is we don't just know the senior execs. We know their teams. We know the structure of the company. We know how you know, an engineer in a knock is affecting the, day, the job that the CEO has to do on a day-to-day -day basis. 
So we know the right people at senior level, but we also know their companies. We know how their company's functioning on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not just about networking from one exec to the other for us. It's about understanding really the nitty gritty of the market on a whole. But for Wenham Carter, we find that by working with limited amounts of clients in a limited space, it works in our favour to cover them geographically across the globe. A VP of sales doesn't necessarily have just Europe. They've got the whole, you know, they've got the international field space. They don't want to be dealing with four different recruiters. They want to deal with one. It's a time management thing for them. So again, we can add value by covering our clients internationally. We cover all functions, corporate function sales, marketing, ops, engineering, and you have one point of contact. We cut that time by knowing our market, by knowing exactly what they're looking for and being concise and exact in what we're delivering to our clients. Thank you, Vanessa, for uh, giving us some time on Capacity TV. Thank you very much for having me.